Black Sabbath's debut album is quite possibly the most influential metal album of all time. And the song I want to take a look at today is Sleeping Village. Now, this song may be hard to find on this album just because of the way the tracks are listed, but it is the fifth song on Apple Music or Spotify. On those platforms, it's called A Bit of Finger slash Sleeping Village slash Warning, but it is the opening. It's about the first minute of that nine minutes or whatever that is is for there but on the record I own it is the second song on side two or the sixth song technically so I ordered this record a few weeks ago I had this Amazon gift card and I was just browsing and I only have Master of Reality besides this which is my favorite Sabbath album but this was a lot cheaper than I've seen it in stores so I wanted to get it and of course it is an absolutely phenomenal album and I listened to the album once again and one song that really stood out to me was Sleeping Village. It's so simplistic but there's something so haunting about it so I want to dive into the song just a little bit today and show you how to play it but also explain the music theory behind it of why it sounds so cool and maybe why it sounds similar to other Sabbath songs but still stands on its own. Now the reason I say music theory in quotations is because nothing in this video will be complicated. It's all very baseline music theory. I don't know too much. For example, the main chord played here is an E minor add nine. I know that because I put it into a few websites to check that. And this chord is only played with two fingers. I play it with my index and my pinky, but you can play it with these two, or if somehow you can stretch between three, four frets, with the, <laughs> then I guess. You can play the top half and it sounds a bit interesting. And then you play the bottom half. I'm pretty sure it's a triad and it's all open stuff. So you'll probably hear it in other songs as well. I mean, nothing else matters really has the E, G, B, E type thing with all the open strings. But if you're wondering what the notes are from the sixth string to the first string, it is E, E, F sharp, G, B, E. So those are all open. So... And this whole E to E thing is very common in Black Sabbath songs, whether it's in standard tuning or not, which definitely changes it a bit. You do hear it. What I think of is War Pigs right away, where you play the open E string, but also on the A string, you're on the seventh fret. So that's also an E note. So it creates this cool together sound, but like it doesn't sound like you're playing the same note. You're not playing it, you know, an octave apart or something. You're not going up five strings and jumping up one. So it's really interesting like that. And then for the F sharp, what I do to find notes like this, because I have basically everything memorized on the E string and the A string, is I just go back um, an octave, which is what you can see me doing in the demonstration here. And since I already know that is an F sharp, I just know from there, and then the rest are open strings. But if you want to know music theory wise what it is, the E on the sixth string is the root or the first and then the E above is also the first and then we have the F sharp which is the ninth which is the add nine and then we have a minor third which is the G the fifth which is the B and then back to the root or the first which is an E so it's all pretty simple there again I'm just looking at it because I looked it up on this olimo.com chord thing which I use all the time if I come up with some weird chord and I want to know what it is but I wanted to find out so I could tell you guys here but I think this riff is really important for a few reasons I think it's best for beginners when it comes to Black Sabbath's riffs because everybody wants to learn the power chord riffs and yes they are awesome and fun and sound badass and everything but this one's important one because it stretches your hand a bit, but you don't have to worry about moving your fingers at all. They stay planted the whole time, and it's just about the picking. And the picking pattern is not hard. This is not a hard song to play at all, but it perfectly fits with the very simplistic vocal melody. And what other weird instruments are going on on the side, I don't know what they are, but it's a very stripped down and raw song with just Tone Aomi's guitar. I think it's a classical, although I'm not 100% sure because then it goes into the next bit which is all electric so maybe it is just his SG or just an electric guitar with it turned down a lot into a clean sound but it sounds like a classical to me because you hear a few little slips here and there so 
I'm not 100% sure that's my guess. That's why I played it on acoustic. But I think what's so satisfying about this guitar riff is it feels familiar even though it isn't because as a guitar player, you're typically, if you played for a little bit, you're typically used to the open strings and you have four open strings here. And then one of those notes is an E and you already have an E playing two different times and then the F sharp is the ninth so that's kind of the odd one out here but it's a very familiar riff but it's just the way it's played and the speed it's very slow it works perfectly and I think it's an essential riff for everyone just because it's haunting it's dark and brooding but it's also so satisfying when you play it as a full chord and it, it just fits so well for 50 seconds 53 seconds or a minute of this song I love it. It's one of my favorite Black Sabbath songs from this album. And honestly, it's one that has stuck with me a lot in the past month. I keep going back and thinking about it. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to make more videos like this and diving more into riffs that are probably more complicated than this. But I think you all should go out there and learn it if you haven't already from just watching the video. It's not a hard one, but it's an important one. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what Black Sabbath song you want me to talk about next. And I will see you guys next time. Over and out.